Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Tuan. First off, Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year 2022. I wish everybody a lot of success, a lot of beats, a lot of placements, a lot of samples, just a lot of good shit. I got a lot of things lined up and planned for 2022 that I'm excited to bring to y'all. So yeah, today I got this Desrite sample that I created recently and I wanted to break it down for you guys, show you my creative process while making it. It's kind of like Desrite inspired from his most recent work. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight to it. So I'm in the project right now. What I first did, I opened up this analog lab right here and I picked this Mellotron gospel preset and I went and laid these chords down right here. So yeah, very, very repetitive, very simple, but to that I added a couple of effects. So I added an effect rack with this down under preset, a H910 harmonizer. Uh, I have the negative 19 cents. It just adds like a detune, but I put down the mix down to like very, very little. It's almost like 5% or even lower. Just to kind of add like a cool little detune effect. Then I added a Stereo One Imager from Waves, a one knob uh, pumper. Now this is kind of like a side chain thing. Uh, I turned down the mix under 50% and then an EQ just cutting the lows out. And this is what it sounds like with effects. Now I know I said this, I'm pretty sure in the in last video, but um, you guys should really watch out with like the order you put your plugins in in the mixer tr in the in the mixer rack. Um, as you can see, I put this side chain one knob pumper after um, the detune and after this uh, down under preset, which acts as like a reverb delay type of thing. Because I also want the reverb signal to be side chained. Uh, so yeah, just a, a quick little tip for you guys to think about. Um, then I went into Analog Lab again, and I picked this Astro Trip preset. It's in one of the HZE um, analog banks. And I just copied the same MIDI. And uh, yeah, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, it was very subtle. It's gonna be something more in the background, but to that I added a half time with the one eighth um, loop preset thing. And then I EQ the low end, uh, so something like this. Oh yeah, I turned the mix down in the halftime to 26%. Just so yeah, as I said, it's something more in the background just to add a couple more textures. Then finally, what I opened up, I opened up Omnisphere with the Child's Play Vibes uh, preset. And again, I just copied the same notes um, and added a bit of effect, but it sounds like this with no effects. So yeah, it's tough. And then I added a couple of plugins. I added a halftime and turned down the mix to 35% and a, this quarter loop right here. I added portal uh, with this slide chain preset. I'm pretty sure it's in one of the Steven, uh, Steven and Pilgrim uh, portal banks. And then an EQ just cutting these frequencies out right here that I didn't really like. So yeah, this is what it sounds like now with the effects. So yeah, it's a cool texture. Then I just um, put them all together and this is what it sounds like all together. So yeah, this is what they all sound together. Now I then started layering a couple of uh, things. I added this only one percussion loop right here. Sounds like this. Yeah, I turned the volume by a whole lot and I mixed, I routed it to mixer track six. I added a half time uh, with two bars, a outer space just to add a bit more of like a, a vintage kind of reverb. I added a Waves J37 and a EQ just to kind of band pass now to cut the highs and the, and the lows and this is what it sounds like now. very very subtle in the background just a cool texture just to add more you know flavor to the sample then i added this vocal chop uh that i had to pitch to the key so i pitched it up 700 cents and uh, this is what it sounds like 
So that's without any effects. Then I added a little Alter Boy, turning down the formula to 2.9, uh, negative 2.9. I turned the mix down as well. I added this Baja Room. I can't pull it up because it's messing up, but it's just, I uh, turned the mix down, kept most of the default preset, the default settings. And then I added this band pass narrow again to cut the highs and the lows. And this EQ again, just to cut this frequency that was pretty uh, strong. So this is what it sounds like now. Yeah, and I just have the vocal chop just playing every four bars. And then one of the last elements that I added is, is this accent that's gonna be in my upcoming one shot kit. And uh, this is what it sounds like. So for the effects, I added a reverb spring. Uh, from Arturia, just turning down the mix and turning it down the reverb, putting it more into the preamp settings. A good hertz low high, just to cut some highs out, and a EQ just to cut the lows and a tiny bit of the highs, not too much. And this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, then for kind of like a B section, I just rendered like this uh, pattern one right here with the three sounds from the two analog lab and the atmosphere and just pitched it up one just to add more variety. So it sounds like this now. I just added this EQ to cut the highs out and this frequency that was just a bit too strong. When you pitch it up one octave, it usually like, you know, it, it's not as good. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the sample. So I rendered this whole thing out and I pitched it up 200 cents and routed it to mixer track nine. Now let's see what I did. So I added a good hurst. This is like my equivalent of like the master basically. So I added a good hurst wild control with the 33 uh, RPM vinyl uh, preset. I turned up the color and the saturator um, just to, you know, add the kind of like more of that vintage feel and a tiny bit of detune. Most of the detune though is coming from this reels uh, uh, plug in right here with this good tape preset. This is a preset I made. It's very simple. And I added a pre chop compressor from Waves. You know, if you watch my videos, you know I, use, I like to use this compressor a lot. Um, I just really like the sound that it gives. And uh, so, yeah, this is the final sample. So yeah, that was basically the sample. Then I pulled it up into this new project and added some menacing drums to it. And uh, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, so I have this like 16 bar intro with like some of the percussion and the uh, 808s coming in. Then I have this like 16 bar hook uh, with the kicks coming in in the second half just to add more punch. And then I have this like uh, verse right here. It's like uh, 24 bars and then an eight bar bridge with no drums. And then it just comes back into the, ver into the hook and then into the verse. Uh, for the mixing, uh, nothing too crazy, just an EQ cutting the highs out on a bit on the 808 and an EQ uh, cutting the lows out 
on my sample and yeah soft click on the master then just leveling my sound most of these sounds are from my drum kit but i also use uh actually no less cap most of these sounds are from the balenciaga kit from only one and i have actually some of my own sounds uh from my loaded drum kit so yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys could learn one or two things from it if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel thank you guys a lot for 1800 subscribers let's keep pushing to 2000 i'll keep dropping these videos for y'all keep trying to you know provide some value drop as much sauce as i can so yeah run me up on instagram link will be in the description down below and uh, yeah, that's it for me today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.